Good morning, Cedar Crest Falcons. It's Mrs. Miller's message. It is Friday. It is at the end of a full week of school. Congratulations on your first week of school in this 2022-23 school year. What is everyone up to this weekend? I actually, tomorrow, my favorite thing to do now, I used to play sports, but my favorite thing to do now is to watch my, my sons play sports. So I have two boys, Marcus is 10 and he plays for the pony the vikings on ponies and this is cameron he's seven and he plays for smurfs on the viking northern lebanon vikings um so those are my two boys and i get to watch them play football tomorrow that's one of my favorite things to do now what's everybody else doing does anyone else have games do you play in ponies or midgets somewhere let me know all right let's get to our positive thinking for teens message for september 16th all right, it's mind shift. This is an amazing message, so really listen. We all have negative thoughts sometimes, even when we're working towards positive thinking. When negative thoughts creep in, try this strategy to shift your thinking and feel more positive. Here's a couple things you can do. One, write down your negative thought. It could be something like, nobody really likes me. Sometimes I feel that way too, guys. Number two, Notice where in your body you hold your negative thoughts. Some teens are prone to getting stomach aches or headaches when they are feeling negative. Let me tell you a story. When I was in kindergarten, I used to get stomach aches every morning and no one knew what was going on with me. They thought I was allergic to chocolate, but you know what? Mrs. Miller loves chocolate, so I know that's not it. I was actually dealing with some anxiety even from an early age and they, they didn't really diagnose that back then. Um, so stomach stomach aches, I can really relate to that. You know, some of that anxiety and negative feelings live in that in the stomach area, or headaches. I would get stress headaches too. Number three, on a scale of zero to five, rate how uncomfortable or upset this thought makes you. Number four, write down a more positive thought. It might be, I have two really great friends and we have fun together, or you have an awesome family that loves you no matter what. Number five, on a scale of zero to five, rate how this positive thought makes you feel, okay? Does it make you feel happy? Like, oh, I, I am important. People do like me. Number six, write down these, th these three reasons the positive thought is true. And last, read the reasons out loud and repeat the positive thought to yourself, okay? These are awesome things to do when something negative comes up and you can't get rid of it. I know it happens to all of us. You're not alone. I hope everyone has a fantastic weekend and I will see you around.